Hi, today I have made an arrangement with Shafi Sale Shafi and he has agreed to show us how to use AIS. Let's check it out. Assalamualaikum and good morning. This is the AIS Automatic Identification System. Um, this equipment will give you information of the ship's position, ship's name, your MMSI number, your destination, draft to other nearby ships and coast stations. So today I will show you how to operate this uh, the equipment. There's a power button here, you can switch it on. For this AIS, there's um, a few types of AIS. There's a class A, class B, and also a receiver only. And for this one, this is a class A type of AIS. For the requirements, your lecturer will discuss with you further. I'll show you how to operate this one. So, we'll go to menu button. We we'll press the menu button. You can see there's a message, sensor button, uh, sensor status, internal GPS, user settings, initial settings, channel settings, and diagnostics and whatnot. And for display, you can see here there's a target list of the nearby ships. And here you can see they only put. You can see only the MMSI number for the ship. Okay. Currently, this uh, AIS is in uh, one watt more mode because we are at port and we have just finished our cargo operation. We are going out, so we are going to set the AIS back to the normal status. Okay, the navigational status you can see here there's a few navigational status that we can choose. You can press enter and you can choose um, a few. So, zero is for underway. One at anchor, not in the command, REM, constrained by a draft, mode, aground, engage in fishing, underway sailing, or reserve for uh, high speed craft. And there's the dimmer button, you can adjust the dimmer, the brightness, and also the contrast. And we go to navigation status now. So, next spot, you can select your destination. We are going to Maktaput, Thailand. So I will select Maktaput now. You can select, edit, and delete this one. So I will just select. And date of arrival, we put in UTC. We are arriving on the 9th. 0500 UTC. And there's a cargo type here you can choose. As for this ship, we choose number 83. There's a few types that you can choose. You just press the button. Okay, and choose. You just put 83, which is the tanker carrying DG, HS, or MPZ. And the draft, we have to set the draft also. That's what we uh, we get the information from the Chief Officer for departure draft. Our departure draft is 4.7 press enter and you check your crew list what is the little uh, latest uh, crew list and how many persons on board you can update here also okay and you just when you are already out of the port you can change the navigational status to underway using engine it depends on what type of ships are you uh, what type of ship are you on okay thank you that's all